this is vineet dube i am doing mtech in integrated circuit and technology from university of hyderabad this is our first video we are going to explain you how to form a counter with 1 second delay let me tell you first how to form a simple counter then my friend will tell you how we can provide a 1 second delay in the program so here is our program you can see the simple program module module name is counter then y is output as a count and reset and count is our input then y is 3 bit you can see 0 to 2 it will count from 0 to 7 and as we are using a procedural statements then then we are taken output as a register then input is rst and clock then he is we have used in always block if uh, if reset is high then where our output will be zero it will start again from zero and else it will it will count from zero then 1 2 till to 7 uh, let me introduce my friend she will explain you how we can provide one second delay and please ignore these comments before she explain the how can you can how you can provide one second delay in the count so here she is hi friends i am vineet dubey's co classmate vidushi bajpay and i'm also doing my mtech from university of hyderabad i'll be explaining you how we can introduce a one second delay or almost a one second delay in this same program i'll be explaining you one by one how these additional lines in your program can help you to introduce the same so we are what we are doing here is we are first of all defining a 32 bit count <clears throat> and uh, what this program will be doing is this count will start from 0 and it will count up to 2 to the power 31 sorry 2 to the power 32 values and uh, what we are doing is we are capturing as soon as the 25th bit is going to be high we are going to count it as 1 the thing is that if you change this value 25 to 16 or 15 the delay will reduce and if you increase this count to say 30 or 29 it will increase so what it is doing is the count will start from zero it will reach up to 25th bit being high and as soon as this happens the count will be initialized again to zero and your counter value will be incremented by 1 then as it is under the always so again the count of your count will start from 0 and uh, till 2 to the power 25 times it will run and again this will go and go under this loop and the value will be incremented by 1 we are going to uh, display you the results on the fpga kit so here is our xilinx spartan 3 as fpga kit it is uh, in the device name of this xilinx spartan 3 is xc3s 500e and package name is fg320 so here is a simple tip before programming you should change these project properties Uh, what is what, what what will be your fpg kit according to the chain then program mm, or you will uh, face some problems when you when when you implement it on your fpg kit then you can see counts ld 2 3 4 are the three bits y0 y1 and y2 and it will increase according to the counter means it will increase from 0 then to 1 then to 2 till to 7 and it again start from 0 then 1 2 and if you can see we have also used the reset then here is d18 it work as a reset if i press this button then you can see uh, that stopped counter is stopped and i when i release this button it will start again to count so this is it and uh, if you like this video uh, or this video interest you in any way please like comment and share thank you